And right at the heart of every DC motor was this thing, the commutator. It was basically a clunky, spinning mechanical switch that was constantly sparking, creating friction, and wearing itself out. To Tesla, this wasn't just a flaw. It was an ugly, inefficient, brute force solution that had to go. So Tesla asked himself a deceptively simple question. How can you make a motor spin without any of those clumsy, sparking parts? How do you get the electricity itself to do all the work? The answer, you know, would literally change everything. And this brings us to his absolutely brilliant solution. He didn't just tweak the old motor, he completely reimagined it from the ground up with what he called the polyphase alternating current system. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. Instead of one steady push of current, Tesla used two or more, each one pulsing slightly out of sync with the other. Think of it like pushing a merry-go-round. One person can get it started, but if you have a few friends pushing one after another, you get a perfect smooth spin. So look here. In step one, the first current creates a magnetic field pushing north-south. Then, in step two, just as that one fades, the next current peaks, creating a field that's east-west. And the result, in step three, is this seamless rotating magnetic field, a literal whirlwind of energy created with no moving parts at all. The rotor inside the motor just gets swept up in the spin. It was absolutely genius. And the results, they were just transformative. The AC motor was just as powerful as DC, but poof, that terrible commutator was gone. But here's the real kicker. AC power could be easily ramped up to super high voltages using transformers. That meant you could send it hundreds of miles with almost no power loss and then step it back down to be used safely in your home. This was the key. This is what built our modern world.